Welcome back to another episode of Rock Boys Football. Coach Prime keeping the fellas busy as he lands another commit, this time in the transfer portal in Alton McCaskill. This was one of the guys in the transfer portal that pretty much every Power 5 team in the country wanted. You take a look at what McCaskill did as a true freshman in 2021 at Houston, was one of the better true freshmen in America at that running back spot. We're going to talk a little bit about what he brings to this Colorado offense. Now, before we get into it again, always just want to say thank you to you guys. This continues to be one of the more intriguing stories in college football. We told you guys that if you guys enjoyed the content, you enjoyed the updates for Colorado football, subscribe to the channel. So here we are, 8.30 at night, Eastern time for the boy, hopping on and talking a little all at McCaskill, who again, like goes to Florida. Arizona State wants him. A couple other teams in the Pac-12 want him. And it, it always seemed like Colorado had the inside track. But here we go again with Coach Prime going toe-to-toe -to -toe with teams in the SEC like Florida, with teams out of the Pac-12 in Arizona State, and, and landing another commit. What I want to talk about, Alden McCaskill, I want to talk a little bit about the player first and then how he fits into that running back room where you add Cavazier Smoke, you add the true freshman Dylan Edwards. In my mind, Alden McCaskill is right now the best running back in that room. Do I think Dylan Edwards has the ceiling to be the best running back? Yes, I do. But what you saw from Alton McCaskill back in his season in 2021 before he tore his ACL going into 2022, like some really special stuff. Let's go over to his stats because I, I, the, the thing you have to keep in mind is he was doing this all as a true freshman, which is pretty rare, especially at that running back room. You think about all the responsibility that you have as a running back at the college football level. It's a lot more than just carrying the rock. You have to be able to pass protect. You have to be able to catch your football out of the backfield. Alton McCaskill checked all those boxes, right? He goes and he's a workhorse, 189 carries for over 1,000 yards, 5.1 yards per carry. This guy was very almost over 1,000 yards, excuse me, thought that was over 1,000 yards. 961 yards, average 5.1 yards per carry. Also added 21 catches for 113 yards and two touchdowns. This guy is an all-purpose running back. He goes 6'1", 200 and change. But the, the thing that out of high school that I think a lot of coaches liked, 10-9, 100-meter dash speed. So you're seeing a guy that's a bigger back with good contact balance, but he also has the burners and the breakaway speed to make it happen in the open field. When you go back and watch his highlights, his patience and his ability to kind of read the field, read his blocks, set up his blocks, and the vision it takes to be a running back beyond his years as a true freshman. And then uh, all things considered, he's going to be a breakout, not a breakout guy because he broke out as a true freshman, was going to be that dude for Houston heading into 2022, and he tears his ACL in summer camp. What you heard from spring practice down at Houston and what Dana Hogerson said is, it, this guy, we were ready for this guy to be back. He said he had a phenomenal spring, was going to be a featured part in this offense, and then he takes off in the transfer board. And, and no doubt because you had a lot of Power 5 teams that wanted a guy like Alden McCaskill to join their running back room. And so Colorado ends up getting, in my mind, one of the better running backs in the country. And we've talked about what Colorado has been able to do in the transfer portal. They've gotten some solid guys, not many guys that are as good as Alden McCaskill. What I want to talk about next, though, is you, I think you know you're getting one of the better running backs in the country. How does he fit into this running back room? I really like the addition of Cavassier Smoke because he's a guy, he's going into his sixth year. He's a guy that's carried the rock at the SEC level coming from Kentucky. He's had some good seasons. I wouldn't say he's a premier running back. And then you have a guy in Dylan Edwards who is 175, 180 pounds soaking wet who has elite, elite speed. We talk about all at McCaskill speed. Dylan Edwards has different level speed, but he's a smaller back. Probably isn't ready as an 18-year-old kid, going to be a true freshman, to carry the ball 15, 20, 25 times a game. So I think Alden McCaskill is Colorado's immediate running back one, a guy that can pass for tech. He can be on the field in third down. He, he's going to be able to run the ball in first and second down. And then you have a guy in Cavassi Smoke who you trust, probably your running back too. But I, I think it's going to be really hard to keep Dylan Edwards off the field. And Alden McCaskill allows you to have an elite running back on the field who you feel comfortable carrying a heavy workload because he did it as a true freshman. And then you have a guy in Dylan Edwards who I don't know how Colorado is going to use him yet, but he's going to touch the football in 2023 because you can't really keep that kind of elite playmaking and elite speed off the field. And, and so you look at this offense and you look at 
how how many weapons are going to be around Shadir Sanders? A lot of those guys through the transfer portal. Travis Hunter, probably your wide receiver one. It depends on how, how many snaps he plays for Colorado. Jimmy Horn Jr., my kind of preseason, like, I think this guy could be a legit all Pac-12 performer. You go check him out at USF. Absolute elite guy. Xavier Weaver, another guy coming from USF who was just as productive as Jimmy Horn Jr. And, and then you're, you're talking about some running backs that can catch the ball out of the backfield in Alton McCaskill and Dylan Edwards. And guys who, especially in Alton McCaskill's case, being a guy that's going to be an elite running back when you give him some room to work. You see Colorado really filling out this roster, not only in terms of depth, and we talked a lot about about depth. Alt McCaskill ain't no depth player. I think he's going to be running back one in this offense, and I am extremely excited for what Coach Prime is going to do with a guy like McCaskill. And the, the biggest takeaway coming off the heels of Aaron Butler is you're seeing Coach Prime at Colorado go toe-to-toe with programs in the SEC elite programs in the Pac-12 and USC and Oregon, and and win the recruiting battles. That's something that Colorado is just not used to doing previous to Coach Prime stepping on campus. So you look at the future of this program, and I'm not – we're going to get more into the depth chart and how many games we think Colorado is going to win in 2023, but you look at the future of this program and what it can be in 2024, in 2025, in 2026, you got to feel really good about Coach Prime's chops at beating out these top teams for the elite talent, whether it's in the transfer portal, whether it's in the high school class, a massive win for a massive day for Colorado. You're talking about bringing in one of the elite players at the high school level in Aaron Butler, and not one of the elite players in the transfer portal, not McCaskill, who's only going into his third year. So he's probably going to be a guy that might be around for two or three more years for Colorado as well, having that uh, redshirt injury year in 2022. So, very, very exciting time to be a Colorado Buffalo fan. Again, if you do enjoy the content, consider subscribing to the channel because I don't I don't see it slowing down anytime soon. So this is going to be a really exciting story to talk about when we get into 2023 in the season. Appreciate you guys checking us out again if you do enjoy the content. Lock it in, subscribe to the channel. Almost at four, 5.3 thousand subscribers. Can't thank you guys enough, and we'll talk to you all later.